three minutes and go. Uh, you know, last 72 hours been kind of rough. My son's missing me a lot and, and uh, and you know I made a post the other day about you know why do I love music so much because when it's all said and done it's the only thing that's been constant in my life from the highs to the lows some of the greatest influences in my life have been uh, been people that have uh, their music has touched me in such ways it literally has saved my life and it all starts with a random playlist like this morning I didn't even know how oh it was I did the duet with that song addiction with Will Dempsey and then I played it on Pandora and just these artists that I've never even heard of have just been filling my heart and my spirit with hope and and determination and grit and like for me the reason I'm sharing this is because you know we never know what the future holds like I'm here at the Mayo Clinic and every second I'm reminded that people are here literally fighting for their lives you know we're all gonna die that is not a matter of if it's a matter of when and these people are here all fighting for a chance at an extra maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 extra years because their body has turned on them. And my son just wants his dad home. And my brother needs help. And I'm here trying to find a balance. And, you know, I always talked about my son and my all my kids. Be the best version of you. And sometimes being the best version of you is having to make hard choices that make you feel like you're letting everybody down because you're trying to do the right thing for the right reasons, even if no one's looking. And then I turn to music because it's the thing that holds me together when I feel like the world is falling apart. Because inside, I feel like I'm broken and that no matter what I do, I'm making the wrong decision. And I... I made a post this morning about, you know, I was scrolling through my news feed, going on my walk, and Jelly Roll Save Me came on. And, you know, it was his uh, it was his performance last night at the iHeart. And then I posted that, and then just by happenstance, my sponsor sends me that daily reading of choices, choices, and choices, and how you do, how if you're a man of, of, of a higher power whom I choose to call God, and how he, you being a, a man of faith and spirituality is doing the right thing that honors him, that makes him proud. And I would like to believe by the choices I'm making to be here, be of service to my brother is not only making my higher power, how, uh, my higher power proud, but also teaching my son that sometimes you got to do things that are uncomfortable and do things that you're afraid to do because I, I have no idea what I'm freaking doing out here. Like half the, more than half, 99% of the conversations that the doctors and the, the PAs are having with us and the nurses, I have no idea. And I feel really dumb asking my brother after the fact, like, Hey, what did that mean? You know, I know he has to be peeing more. I know we have to get calories in him. And I know I got to get him up at least once an hour to, even if it's just to walk around the room. Other than that, it's above my freaking pay grade. On top of, of thinking about my family, talk about thinking about my mental health, talk about thinking about the nonprofit, talk about fundraising, like all that is like boom, 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 boom. And I get in my car to go to the post office because I got to mail these packages out and I'm on this random playlist and it's like the universe has hit every song to, to, to let me know I'm not alone, I'm doing the right thing, I hear you and keep on trudging like There's this one song called I Beat You There. And I know it's been remade a few times. And it just, like, I'm literally, no lie, sitting on the toilet, finally going poop after, like, two days. Because when I have anxiety, I get, I like, my body, like, I get constipated. 
and I don't know what that is. And I'm taking stool softeners on top of the, the gastric bypass, which, you know, it, all that. And I haven't pooped in two days. And I'm sitting on the toilet and I'm finally having a bowel movement and that song comes on, beat you there. It's an acoustic version and I'm freaking bawling because all I want to do is pick up my phone and call my mom and be like, mom, I, I'm struggling. And that's how my morning started. And the playlist has just been coming and hitting and hitting and hitting. I keep telling my brother, we're all in and we're going to get through this one way or the other. <laughs> and I love him. When I've given him every reason to freaking hate me. He's the only person in my life who never gave up on me. And I can't help him. You know, if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you get one person in your life that's not your spouse that would go to hell and back for you. Oh man, life shows up, you gotta do the things you don't wanna do, you gotta get comfortable with the uncomfortable and you gotta be do things you're afraid to do. Cause when it's all said and done, people don't remember what you did for them, people don't remember what you bought them, people don't remember what events you went to to support them. People remember how you made them feel. And I truly believe with all my heart with the state of the world and the chaos of life, when you can be anything, being kind is the greatest gift you can do to the world with your precious gift of the next 1,440 minutes. Because in a world where you can be anything, it's the only thing that I know of is priceless and free at the same time. So if you're struggling today, I'm here to tell you, we got this. Your higher power didn't make no wussy. And the thing that you think is meant to break you, I am living proof, 48 plus years old, everything that, the, that was sent to break me has not been victorious even once. I may have broken down, I may have cried myself to sleep, I may have overdosed on drugs. I may have made bad decisions back to back to back to back to back for years. But no matter what, nothing has been sent that has been victorious enough to set me on my butt one more time more than I was willing to get up. It may have took me a minute, but I got up. So if you can't, if you don't have the faith or the belief in yourself that you can get through whatever you're struggling with, I'm living proof of it that you are. I will give you the faith and the belief that you have until you can believe and then I need you to do me one favor. Pay it forward to somebody else who needs it. This is a long version of the 1440, but thank you for, if you're here at the nine and a half mark, send this to five people in your life who need a little bit of motivation to, to hold on. Because I can promise you there's somebody who woke up today that's so grateful that you're in the world, that you're in their life, and you may not even know how much you influence them. I'm living proof of it.